Hi guys! Today I'm here to show you how to make what's called a Magic 8 Ball app. I bet you'll never guess what it does. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your email today like we always do. And you'll see that I've included a link to the App Inventor. This link right here. Click on it and you'll be taken to this page. Click Create. And we'll open up the App Inventor today. Say Continue and it'll show you whatever you've been working on. We're going to actually go ahead and go to Start New Project and we're going to name it Magic 8 Ball. Click OK and you're ready to get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we need to do is make a button. Over here under the user interface you're going to click and drag a button here. We don't want the text for the button so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that delete. We do want it to have an image though and this is the image you can choose one of the two that are in your email so you're gonna click on image, upload file, choose file and wherever you've saved the choice you made in your email I want you to go ahead and find it and upload it now. Mine is right here it's called at Magic 8 Ball and I'm gonna say OK and you can see my choice is the larger picture, so it's a little bit big. And I want to make it fit into the screen a little bit better than that. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, so I hope you guys remember. What might be a good size? Hmm, can you remember from your past apps? Try to guess. Okay, I'm hoping it's too small to see on my screen, but I'll never know. Okay, after we've gotten our beautiful button, we need to add a sound because what we want to do is make it so that we can click the picture and it'll make a sound and give us a prediction. Okay, so we go to media, click, drag a sound into the display area and it'll show up at the bottom. Okay, for sound the only thing we need to do is assign a sound effect to the sound. We're going to upload the file again, choose file, and this is going to be one of the sound effect choices that were in your email. If you guys would like to customize it later with a different sound in a different picture, go for it. But when we are learning how to build things for the first time, I'd prefer if you followed the tutorial more closely. Okay, if you like, after you build it the first time, I can show you where to find free sound effects. Here it is. My favorite was the clinking teaspoon sound, but you can choose whichever you like. Click OK, and there you have it. OK, the next thing we're going to do after we have a button and a sound, we're going to add two labels to tell people what the directions are for, for our game. Remember, the people who are going to play your game don't always know right away what it is because they haven't spent so much time building it and thinking about it like you have. So, we're going to go ahead and click Layout, click Vertical Arrangement, because we think that looks nice. Click User Interface, get one label, get two labels, and stack them right on top of each other. Okay, then we're going to go over to Components and click Label 1. We're going to change the text for Label 1, and it's going to say ask the magic eight ball a question okay and you can see that pop up into this display like that the next thing is label two we're gonna change it so that it says touch the magic eight ball to receive your answer and that way people who get your app know exactly what to do Touch the magic eight ball to receive your answer. And there it is. Okay, so actually this app is pretty simple from the outside. It doesn't look too tricky. So the next thing we're going to do is add our building blocks. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make the button play a sound when it's clicked. You guys remember how to do that, right? I bet you do. Hmm. 
Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that when people click label 2, that's where the prediction will appear. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looks right to me. Next thing we have to set up is what the predictions that the Magic 8 Ball gives you will say. And that is a list. So we're going to click on lists and we're going to click on pick a random item list. Let's see. Where is it? Hmm. There it is. Pick a random item list. Sometimes you have to look really carefully because all those blocks look so similar. Okay. Then you want to click list again because we're still trying to set up what our list is going to do. Choose make a list. And here's where I want you guys to get as creative as you'd like and put different predictions into the sockets of this block. I want you to do at least four, but you can see that we only have two to start with. Here's how we get more. You can see every time I drag this item block into the list block, more sockets appear. You guys can do as many as you want. So now we have to think about it. How do we make predictions appear? Well, they're going to appear as text on the screen. So we click on text, and we use this block, which you guys have seen before. Here's where you want to change the empty space into your predictions. I'm going to say things like, Outlook not good. Definitely true. Hmm, what else can I say? Mm. Ask again later. That was always my favorite when I had a Magic 8 Ball. It drove me nuts. Maybe. Okay, so this block right here, pick a random item list, is what allows the program to pick any one of these four. And they're going to be completely random. There's no way that anybody can predict which one is going to come up. Not you not the person using the app. And that's what makes it a little bit fun. So you can see with this block, when the button, which is actually the Magic 8 Ball picture, is clicked, the sound will play and you'll get a random prediction. Okay, This is actually all there is to this app. I know it seems short, but it's a lot of fun. And I predict my prediction, haha, is that you guys are going to have a lot of fun today with your uh, predictions that will go in the text box. The other thing I'm going to give you today is a challenge to expand an app that we've already done, which is called Talk to Me. I'm going to give you written instructions for that, and I'm going to challenge you to do it without a video, so I'm not going to make a video. Okay, give those things a try, keep working on the calculator, and we'll see what happens. The last thing I always want you to do, no matter which project you're working on this Monday, is to build the app. Because we've got our blocks, we've got our designer, and we want to make sure that it works. So we're going to click on Build, choose Save APK to my computer, and you can see it's doing that. Do, 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 do. This is so much fun. 50%, huh? Aha, there it is. Okay, when the app downloads, I want you guys to go ahead and send me an email. You're going to send it to Beth at International School Puntur Is, and you're going to call it Magate Ball App or something similar. You're going to attach it with the paper clip. Let's see. 
you're going to find that file and you're going to attach it to the email when it turns blue just like this it's all loaded so you can go ahead and send it to me and then together I will take your file and we're going to test it out with the emulator which looks like this so let me go ahead and test it out for us see if our beautiful app is working dun dun dun, dun. here it goes here's our magic eight ball does it work? I'm going to turn it upside down so we can see the text. Now remember, if we programmed it right, the prediction will show up here. So let's see what happens. Ready? Ooh, ask again later. Will my students have fun with this app on Monday? Outlook not good. Oh man. Um, will Gustav like this app? Outlook not good. Oh man. Um, will everybody throw things at me and yell at me because their app isn't very much fun? Definitely true! Oh man, this thing really sucks. I don't like my Magic 8 Ball at all, but the cool thing about it is you can see that our app is working, which is what we want. So, give it a try and have fun guys. Bye-bye!